Hey, what's up everyone? So I'm back with another tutorial and this tutorial is something about what is pprint and pformat in Python and it is basically used in dictionary. So before that I'll show you what things that you can't see and you can't feel with a pprint and pformat. Now let's create a text. Mm, text will be anything like I am the king. Now let me create a dictionary. Now for cat in text. Let me just uh, do something like this. Now set default care. If care is not present, then it's probably equal to zero. Uh, if you don't know about set default, then you can check out my previous tutorial. Now count I'll tell you what exactly is happening here yeah plus equals to one print count now what is happening this is the text which you are declaring at the beginning of your code and what you want is you you want to count every single letters inside the string every single space and how much Time, how many times the string is repeating and particular letter or space or anything any character within the string is repeating so that's what you're counting so i is one space is maybe three times four times or something now let's if i print this see a occurs once space is four times e is one and g is three so this is uh, basically like how you could count uh, particular characters from the string now you can see this one is really like a bit uh, difficult to see and feel like it, it is a bit difficult to know like how, what is the space and what is everything is going on it's like it's difficult so there's one more thing in python that is called pprint and pformat now for using that you need to import pprint now Rather using print, you should do preprint dot preprint. Now, when I print this, when I uh, run this, see, it is sorting the result as well as it is giving a cleaner look of the output, and you can see clearly everything what is going on. Like I is one, A is one, E is one, G is two. Like it is sorting. It. Now you must be known the ASIC value of the cap letters are less than this so it is sorting everything so it is very clear now you can do the same thing using pformat so for that type print pprint dot pformat now it will give, us, give me the same result so either you can use this or you can use the simple pprint.pprint or you can use print pprint.pformat count it is one of the same you can use any of it so this is the basic use like you can see your result more clearly and you can sort your result as well so this is the uh, basic use of pprint and pformat so thank you for watching hope you see you next time hey what's up everyone so i'm back with another tutorial and this tutorial is